You're known for your love of GLAT gadgets. This is a classic gadget. What are you doing here today? Uh, well, I was invited by the Historic Grand Prix Cars Association to just come and look at what they do. And I, I'm actually completely passionate about cars because in a former life, before I, uh, I did the gadget show, which I also is now a former life for me, actually. But anyway, it, uh, uh, I absolutely was always passionate about cars. I used to produce Top Gear and do a lot of classic car programs and things like that. Um, I think the first uh, old car meeting I went to was a VSCC meeting when I was about 10 in 1972 or somewhere thereabouts. So I've always had a, always had a passion for old cars. What's your favourite all-time car? Oh gosh! No, I, I actually like really quite slow cars that you can drive really fast. So I mean, I, I you know, I mean, for me, so even something like an old 2CV uh, that you can actually really sort of drive on the limits of its handling all the time is absolutely great fun. So I sort of love, I love cars like that. I love. Um, Ooh, what are, what are other things in that? In that, I mean, I, I mean, one of, the, one of the first cars I drove, which is sort of related to this, was uh, had one of our neighbours when I was a, when I was a child had a Fraser Nash with a, one with an Anzani engine, I think it was, and um, and he let me out driving that. Another another neighbour down the road had an old TR2, and again I was, I was allowed to try that. So I, I I like things with a bit of age on them. Do you think that modern cars are getting too clinical? They're becoming too sterile because they're that good. Uh, in some ways, yes, they're also going a lot easier to drive, and I think a lot, and, and, and so you do miss, I mean, one of the favourite cars I ever owned, actually, was, was actually a Mark 1 1100 Golf, which again had the same sort of thing, you to really, and, and, and with, with newer cars, you don't get that sensation of driving anywhere near the limits of their abilities, and in that way, yes, uh, it, they are a bit more boring, on the other hand, they're so much better, they're so much more economical and quieter and crash-proof and all those things, that we actually want, want cars to be when we're doing 20,000 miles a year in them. Yes. Yeah. You also, I think, as a motoring enthusiast, you want to be scared once in the blue moon. From well, yes. a, a little bit of thrill, maybe. Yes. Uh, yes. True. Well, I suppose that, that yes, there is. I suppose. Mate, I mean, classic cars seem to be undergoing something of a revival. Anyway, I mean, the, 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 the number of magazines and publications that are about them now is more than ever. It seems, and the event size is so popular, and uh, so maybe people do want to put a bit of that thrill back. And it's also accessible and affordable, so it's brilliant. Another question for you. I, I remember Top Gear from the early days. I, I know the current Top Gear. Yeah. How do you feel about the direction it's gone? I'm, I'm in many ways, absolutely right for our times. I mean, because of the way television is, I think it was right to make it into a more sort of entertainment bias program. It's, it's sort of it's wonderful um, the way it's been reinvented. Sort of last of the summer wine with cars. It's very funny. <laughs> Jeremy's got the the, uh, the particular's got some amazing talent to carry that off. It's great. Mm. Sure. Is there a particular car you're going to be following this weekend? Now that's a difficult question. Uh, I suppose the, maybe the straight answer is, is no, actually, because I actually quite, I just quite like looking at all of them. Yeah. Have you got a particular Mark Alliance, or are you a Ferrari man, Maserati man, In BMW? In terms or? of these cars, no, not really. I don't think I've, I don't think I've got enough enough personal experience of actually driving them to, mm. to have developed one in, in a sense that would be yeah I think so, so, so I mean road cars I might have but even then you end up with so many different ones you like it, you know, you can, yeah. any tips on any new gadgets coming out that we should be looking for oh gosh I don't know uh, I, I, I mean I, I, like, I like looking a, a lot to the future you know I mean, all things like sort of virtual reality and um, new ways of controlling things with new interfaces uh, translation devices that are real time they're nearly there you know you can just talking to them and the Italian comes out the other end and just that would be wonderful for them I mean we're getting, we're getting closer and closer to that sort of thing those, those are things that really enthuse me we're certainly living in exciting times thanks so much for talking to us thank you